welcome to this week's Stay Home Science with ASC. Today we're going to be thinking about energy transfer and making bouncy balls. For this, you will need PVA glue, baking soda, and saline or eye wash solution. Food colouring and glitter are optional. Your eye wash solution needs to include either sodium borate or boric acid. You'll also need a bowl, teaspoon and a small cup. First, pour some eye wash solution into a bowl and add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. It doesn't matter how much eye wash solution you use here. Give it a mix. Take your cup and pour in your glue. You can decide how much you want depending on how many bouncy balls you want to make and how big you want to make them. For this, I'm making two bouncy balls. Now you can add colour and glitter. Pour the mixture into the eye wash solution and give it a quick stir. Keep stirring until you're able to take it out of the bowl. What you're seeing here is a chemical reaction between the boric acid in the eye wash solution and the glue. Borax acts as a cross-linker to the polymer molecules in the glue. This creates long chains of molecules which stay together when you pick them up. The baking soda helps to bind the molecules together so they hold their shape. Now you can shape it into a ball. If you're finding it to be sticky, put it back in the bowl of solution just for a few seconds. Now it is ready to test out. So, why did it bounce? Well, this was because of energy. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. Energy can never be used up. We can only change it from one energy store to another, and this is called energy transfer. When I hold it here, this ball contains a gravitational store of energy. This is because of its weight and its height above this table surface. As the ball falls, this gravitational store is converted to the kinetic store. Kinetic stores contain energy due to an object's movement. When it hits the table surface, the ball ever so slightly changes shape. During this, the kinetic store is converted into an elastic store. When the shape of the ball is restored, this elastic store is converted back into a kinetic store and this causes the ball to bounce back up again. It will bounce until all of the energy has been converted. Have fun making your own bouncy balls and you can experiment to see what happens when you make different shapes and sizes. Thanks for watching, see you next time.